Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fahler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for November 2nd, 2016. So, in the beginning I want to repeat my message from yesterday. I have good news, I am going to be a father soon, amen. And that means I have to be much more efficient with my time and I can no longer spend about an hour, 30 a day making these videos for you, editing them and putting them online. But I will still be here, sitting on this chair, with you every couple of days, whenever there's important transits in the skies, whenever uh, something is happening that I think you should know about, and it will be every couple of days or at least every week. So I'm not going away and you'll be still getting all the important information, just that we won't be waking up together each morning and I'm sad about it and I know many of you are as well and I want to thank you for all the support and love you've given me in the last passing year. Well, today we have the Moon in Sagittarius <coughs> squaring Neptune if you are in Europe and then squaring the nodes up to noontime. That whole time is an unstable time emotionally, it's a time that we're much more vulnerable, we could get much easily hurt and we're more cranky, you know, we could make a big fuss over nothing. And it's a good thing to keep that little cranky boy or girl within us that makes that fuss on a short leash this morning and not letting him or her run our household, so to speak. It means also that other people in our life, like our husbands, our wife, and especially our kids, could be especially sensitive today and high maintenance, so to speak. And we need to take that into account. After that, the sky clears in around 1400 hours. That's 2 p.m. Uh, Central European time. That's 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a sextile to Jupiter. That's a great time of benevolence and optimism. And that's a time that we could have high expectations. We could have a good... Um, good vibes going all around and it's a time that is especially good for broadening our horizons through other people in our lives to especially in subjects dealing with our own truth our philosophy the way we think and believe life runs itself in front of us and things that are especially important to us are areas of expertise the things that we love to study so it's a great time for that and we'll go on up to the evening time in europe and up to noontime in the States. Then the moon would conjunct Saturn, and that would be going on for the rest of the day, and the conjunction to Saturn can have two effects. On the one hand, it stabilizes us emotionally, and matures us, and makes us look at the important things, and in the long run. On the other hand, we can become emotionally distant, or even cold, and not very approachable. And we need to acknowledge that and be extra warm and extra encompassing and extra sensitive and understanding. And that way we can get the positive aspects of Saturn and not the negative ones. And people around us could be the same. So we need to know that as well. The sun is still in beautiful angles to the nodes. This is the time to shine. This is the time to try things differently. This is the time to make that extra step forward and believe that positive change is coming. Make that leap of faith and you won't be sorry for it. Just make it wisely. Check everything you need to do and once you see that you have the green lights, don't stop yourself from making that leap. I want to thank you for listening and I want to thank you for all the love and support you've given me. And I'll still be here for the next couple of days every morning and then we'll start seeing each other every other day. Thank you. Bye-bye.